Hello, I am Erin Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. Two, one, it's now recording Pretty's computer. Now, Pretty, we are in, I don't know which challenge, but if you read this, it says, when the apple hits Newton, hide the apple. So when the apple hits Newton, you can see she's already got, when apple, if you look at this, I'll just make it a bit bigger, a little bit bigger. When the apple hits with, collides with Newton, apple hides. So the hide the apple, she's done that part. Show the bang caption. So now we're going to show the bang caption. So see if you can put that in. Okay, bang, caption, show. But remember, it'll be part of this. So first the apple hides, then the bang caption will take place. So it'll be in the when apple collides with Newton block. So the bang, show, showing the, ba the bang caption will go into the block that's got this yellow outline around it. So let's see if we can put that into place. Pretty, you can move the bang Show bang caption into the right space. Okay. All right. It says first hide the apple, then show bang caption. So you got them in the wrong order. First it says hide the apple, then show the bang caption. Pretty, you got that. So put the bang caption just in as, as the second um, line of your code there or the second block. Now, watch what I'm showing you here, guys. If I go to this part, Pretty, if we click on that, what would that do? That's going to open up the JavaScript. And I'll make it nice and big so you can all see that JavaScript. It's a derivative of Java. Some of you got a dads and moms who know Java. And look here, we got the Apple object with the on-click event calling a function. And that's a function. And in the function, it's got Apple down. So that's what's going to happen. The Apple's going down. Then you got... The on collision event, this is how it's read. That's the on collision event. Apple hide and the bang show. Please always look at this. It's quite important to look at that because that's JavaScript and it's pretty exciting to learn proper coding with the scripts. Now it says show the bump. So, pretty, we've got to bring in the bump being shown. So, bring in the bump is now going to be shown as the third thing that will happen. Now, pretty, before you do that, Remember that it says, first the apple hits the Newton, apple hides, bang is shown, and then, so this is in the wrong place. Now before, before pretty goes out here, don't go out of there yet. Uh, where did you move it? Did you move that block? Uh, put it back there, sorry, I've messed you around. Where is the one where it says, the bump show? Okay, so remember the bump show. If you had it like this, guys, just look at this. Brayden, you probably know this. But when Pretty puts bump show here, that means that as soon as you press on the green play button, it goes into play mode. Then it's going to go bump show. Like, watch. Play. Look. Bump show. There's the bump on his head. So that's not really correct. We need to have the bump show is the thing that follows after the, the apple is hidden and the bang show and then the bump will show. So it falls into the when Apple collides with Newton block. When Apple collides with Newton block. So the bump showing, the showing bump will go into the when Apple collides with Newton block. You're putting it into the when click event, pretty. We're going to put uh, the, the, bang, the bump showing and the bang show would be in the when the Apple collides with Newton. It's the third thing that happens in the when Apple collides with Newton block. Good. Now remember the bump show is the third thing that's going to happen in the when collide with Newton block. So watch there. Guys, if you, some of you want to go ahead, feel welcome. Don't be obliged to watch. And play your code pretty. Let's see if we've got that and we can move on. Good work. Let's move on to the next challenge. Guys, you can always look at that variable watch. Now, Pretty and me are not going to watch this video. Every time the video comes up, it is a good thing to watch it. Because you then engage with the activity with some sort of knowledge. But Pretty and me are not going to do that. 
And if you want to, you can even watch the hints video, which is locked at the moment because it counts a few marks if you watch that. So pretty, we got challenge. After two seconds, hide the bang caption and increase the bump size by 20. So we're going to bring in a timer. Uh, a timer is counting time. And we're going to make that that goes in play mode. When we press the green play button, the timer will start counting two seconds. So when Pretty presses this green button, she's got it in the right place, that timer is going to count two seconds, and then it's going to do something. Okay, it's going to hide the bang caption, and it's going to increase the bump size by 20. Good, Pretty. I think you got it. Bring the bang caption in after two seconds. And Brayden, do you know that the being over there, this means the timer is going to play as soon as she presses that button. Counts two seconds. So, pretty remember it says hide the bang caption. You've still got a question mark on the bang caption. You've got to be specifying what's going to happen to the bang caption. It has to disappear. It mustn't be seen. It must be hidden. Good. Excellent. And then we must increase the bump size. Okay, so the bump size is going to get bigger, and that's scaling, hey? 100% increase means it gets twice bigger, the size that it currently is. So you're going to scale, increase the, the bump size by 20. So that will be li linked to scale. Scale. Scale means, guys, when you look at a map, you always know that a map is a smaller version of reality, hey? Like if you look at a map in South Africa, it can fit on a page, on a page in your book. But yet it shows the whole of South Africa. Johannesburg on some maps just looks like one little dot. So that's scale. That's micro scale. And when you scale it up, you make it bigger. So the scale will be 20. Pretty, do you want to go ahead and, and play that code? Let's see if you got it right. I think you're doing quite a good job there. Well, good. And then two seconds. And then two seconds goes. And what happens after two seconds? Okay, let's have a look. Scroll down. I just want to see that. The bang must hide. But it's not happening, Pretty. Why is that not happening? I think you need to set, the, the, set this to 20. Scale to 20. No, I think it's set to 20. And make that 20. All right, so let's try that again. Pretty, let's play the code. I hope we got it right. Otherwise, we're going to be fiddling around the whole time trying to work it out. Good. Look at the bang went away. It's working. I just don't see us going to the next challenge. Oh, pretty, you put two scales. Look. This one mustn't be. It says the bang must go away. So this, you made them the bang get bigger. So it's got to go away. Hide the bang. And then we can try that. One, two. Oh, the bang is not going away. Let's have a look at our code above. Why is it not going away? Maybe Braden will pick up it's quite smart, that guy, at uh, telling us why. Okay, it's showing the bang, bump showing, apple hides. When clicking on the apple, apple starts moving down. After two seconds, the scale of the bump goes up by 20. Let's just check on this one. Set two, let's make it set two. Try that now, pretty, let's go with it. Clicking on the apple, bang, one, two. Bang is supposed to disappear. Braden, we looking. Bang, bang, hide what? Okay, now whenever you're stuck, guys, Braden probably knows the answer. But go here. Pretty, we in like a bit of a fix. So let's go on to the help and we'll have a look. If you are doing a new activity, try use help. And we're not going to watch this video. We're watching that one. We're going to go, okay. And pretty, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. But if you go over here, you'll see like we'll pause it. And we'll look, go right at the end. Look at how they've done it. After two seconds, bump, scale, add 20. Now where did the, 
Where is the hide? The bump hide. They don't seem to have the bump hide. Apple goes down. Apple collides. Apple's ba uh, bang is shown. Bump. Let's try and um, pretty. We'll just take that bang hide part out and see if it's right. So let's close this video because there it gives us some idea of what the answer would be. And hopefully we can get that right. Okay, so take that bang hide part out. And let's see if we're going to get it right. The bang hide. Go down, my girl. Take this part out. Let's just take it out. And let's just see. Put in the, delete, uh, in the, the rubbish bin. Close your uh, this, the code here. Go there. And now go and take that bang hide, that part, and put it in the bin. Just drag it to the bin, this bin. Excellent. Let's now play that. Maybe that's what they want us to do. So we'll just check. Oh, it's, like, it's still not giving us go to the next challenge. Is, is there anyone in the class who's managed to get past this challenge? All right. If you could just help us to, to show where the mistake would be. Uh, your name? Teppo. Thanks so much for helping out because me and Pretty are stuck. And... Tepo, if you could just show us what, go to the board and kind of give us, tell us where we must, what we must do. Uh, pretty lucky we got Tepo has already got the answer. So just Tepo, just explain what we need to do. We, okay, so pretty Tepo says bring the bang and put it into the after two seconds over here. So bring this one and put it. Is it at the top, Tepo, or at the bottom? Okay, exactly where you got it. Pretty good. And then? Okay, go to uh, hide. Is that correct, Apple, now? Okay, he says you must go add, like you had it before, pretty. We're going to go add. And must it be 20, Apple? Okay, so you got it right. Let's try that out, so pretty. A big thank you to you, Apple, for helping us out. Because... I just couldn't see where we would get out of, of this. I'm very fortunate to have Tepul, who's a remarkable coder. He's going to just explain where we all went wrong. So here he is. Well, well done, Tepul, and I leave you with the mic. Ready? Okay, guys. My name is Tepul Sarita. Uh, when you click. When you click Apple, Apple must go down, mute. Apple hide, bump show. Bang, bang show. Bump show. Time after two seconds. Seconds. Bump, scale, add 20. Bump, show. Bump hide. Then um, when you press the when you click Apple, Apple will go down. Then the uh, bump will. Guys, let's give Tip a hand. He's in the collision of the Apple with Newton in the collider. All right, and here we have Imka. Uh, you've got this amazing story that you're making. Is that correct? All right, you want to... Here we've got the... What is this? When clicking on the apple. So what will happen? Click on the apple. Let's just demonstrate. Apple falls. Then the apple collide event with Newton. The collision event takes place. Apple hides. I can see it's gone. Bang is showing. And then you've got the bump is showing. In two seconds... Bump goes up by 20, and the bang is hidden. Imke, um, that's wonderful. Where's the one that you did where you showed all your... Oh, and then, when clicking on Newton, guys, look at this. Oh, look at that. When she clicks on Newton, then background is set to... What is this, Imke? What was it called? Okay, so if you click on here, guys... Over here, it was the, this one. Is that correct? Okay, so you, 
clicked on the background. When you go on to, and then, what is this, MCO? Okay, so after that, every, after 10, uh, the computer chooses between 1 and 10 seconds. Excuse me, guys. Look at there, random. The computer is going to choose any number between 1 and 10. But the computer will choose that. And that means that's interesting. And look at this. When you click on the bump, Newton, he gets bigger. Show us. Wow, look at that. He's gone so much bigger. And when clicking on the bump, let's have a look at that last one. You've got when clicking on the bump, he gets multiplies by 10. Now, when clicking on the bump, let's see again. Can you click on the bump? Because I don't see the bump now for this to subtract 30. I'm not sure if that'll work. Oh, there's the bump. Look there. Is that really him? All right, MK, very, very good. Just remember that these two bits of code, I'm not sh seeing that the bump will scale down, guys. Did you see how small it went? The bump scaled down by 30. Can you make it that when you click on Newton, he will uh, get small again? See if you can do that. But MK, really well done. And don't forget to look at the JavaScript. All of this is the scripting language that, that makes everything work. Guys, give MK a round. Give her a hand. Well done.